And just in case you are once curious, the replicator, just like other ice cream machine, have out slots. Which can make can be put in things as always with transformers to get more energy, but I think it's already peak of energy. Let's get my scanner. It's already extreme voltage, no I don't know why you put more some storage, some ejector to pull the eating out and you can also put overclockers. But what the overclocker will do in the replicator? The one thing that he can truly see when when the replicator is that the EU fills up uh, a lot faster than the EU matter. As you see, it's taking slowly, slowly, slowly. However, if you give it an overclocker, it you got to start to getting. Not only more energy, but it will start to get EU more faster. So the more the clock you put in the replicator, more faster it's gonna take the EU matter. So if you have tones like it this, I have it enough to make one iridium, let's place all of it. As you can see, the, the EU and the energy. is get up and down faster a lot faster than it was without you can do a little trick and just wait for the power to complete and then give it all of the clockers so you're gonna start to get the EU faster but do not expend more energy since it's, it's already finished. You can see it stopped it, but the humat is still coming and it takes a long time. So let's put this and it doesn't expend any more energy because it's already expended. But you can add more overclockers to speed the taking of EU matter. So let us do this, shall we? Let's get this one and this one. Now you see that the percent is rising steadily. And you're not expending any more energy because it's already finished. It's finished here. Soon the pipe will become empty, and as you can see, it's taking all our beautiful EMAT to create more iridium for us a lot faster than it would be without them. One per one, now we're slow. Let's put ten. Ah, now we're talking. Let's watch this reading get ready, shall we? It's not not take that long. And here we go. Illegion. Why did it end like that? Anyway, this is how it... Wait for the power to be... Consumed, store the knock and then overclock it to get the item more faster. Now let's go down... And I have removed the limiter of the mass fabricator, it can accept external voltage, just like the buffer can also. And now it's running a lot faster, because it still have a scrap box of course. Each scrap box, for as I have counted and see, 
it's it's uh, something like 10% of U matter. So every 10 scrap box is one bucket of U matter. And there is my sheeting. And then was the auto mod item that is not blacklisted yet to produce scrap. And then turn into scrap box and then turn into matter. Our reactor is running. We have finished charging this. So all the power goes to the fabricator and charge my armor very fast. I still need to see what I get more of plutonium. But now let's get down and take something that belongs to us back. It's time for another lesson. Let's take back our What the heck is happening? Have you bugged? Certainly have enough energy, I guess. No still no wrench. I have to break it with it could not be. What the heck is happening? What the heck is happening? It should be fixed now. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. There is a little problem I have to face. I have... Uh, I am playing actually three types of Minecraft at the same time. I have the Awake Nightmare that I'm playing right now. I also have Ivalice, a friend's server, but it's on a old Minecraft. And I also play sometimes a old Minecraft server, Kirara. That's a crack tech hardcore mode. And that caused my name to keep changing. As you can see. And the machines that retain the name of those who place it is what causing this problem because the names are different, they don't accept be removed. I had the same intro with some digital chest, you probably will see that the name here and here are different. But they are army. That's what kills at this no range I think. No no, with that so with that corrected should recharge my tools. Let's put what are we gonna lose now in the chest? Advanced mine and the clockers. And when I hit on it, I gotta make a very huge expedition.
Welcome back and let's go for one big one long explanation because this one bring you actually some benefits. We can say that this is be what it enables my mark system of processing to go from 3.5 to go 4. But first off, and I am talking about the Syracus. I don't know why, but I always say Tisarak with the Tisarak. If you have played Crytek before or other mods like Demo Expansion, you should know about this. While in Crytek they work different. As the two ships say, it generates a Tesseract attached inventory. So if you put the generator on a chest, it will be a chest, in a tank, a tank, and all the stuffs. As you saw earlier, I put it on a pipe. Pipes can accept and have eatings removed from them, so it's, li it's like a chest, but it's very small. For this purpose, we're gonna put a double chest. This will be the place where we connect our Tesseract generator. Just like that. And you face this reaction, please. Focus one occupy. But I already. Uh, okay. Set the frequency two. And then. Be wrench like this, it's connected up here. As you can see. So whatever I put here, like this, will happen nothing, because this is just emulating this inventory to all attached Tesseract terminals. As we did in the miner, the items were inset in the terminal, and since the, the generator before was attached to the pipe, it was like the pipe itself was attached in the other pipe. So it teleported the item from down there to up here. We can use this to our advantage and the process line. But before that, I'm gonna make a little explanation. I don't know how much the Tesseract was used before. Before, before I believe Tesseract didn't have much use it. Because they had very lim very big limitations. You can't transfer liquids and you can't you can transfer items. You can't transfer power, so no, you can't power machines. Unless they are powered by steam, so you can't transport steam then. But there was not much we can do about what was going to be extracted and what was going to be inputted be filtered, because there was no such thing at that time. The maximum the great tech itself, I'm not saying not, not the mods, had was the shorter, but the shorter only work outside an inventory. However, when Greg added the pipes, he also added the filters. And this is where we come to play our play come to place. As you can see, I have this to my industrial grinder and this one is set to get these items and this one those items. And they are fitted by a pipe from all the way back there, if you remember correctly. But this is just one way of doing it. We can now do different if you really want. We can use Tesserax. If I remove this cable, and then let's take out the pipes, so they are not connected. As you can see, it's no connection between the pipes and those two filters. Now, 
if I place the Tesseract terminal between them and set the semi frequency and come here getting one single one single or let's say iron and place the chest what will happen? nothing exactly nothing but I was say yes I know what I was saying but did we just miss one step? The terminal emulates the chest and the chest do what alone? Nothing. However, let's go back here. Let us take this terminal back to us and let us play a conveyor mode on this one and this one and let us say to do import items and now let us place the same terminal here now let's put back on this right frequency so now if I place this item it will gone and as you can see there it is being processed beautiful but what if I place all the item like the brass pipe it's gonna be taken no it's not gonna be taken because the filter is what in, is saying what the conveyor can or cannot extract so this way we are teleporting the minerals from this pipe direct to the grinder but this is just half of the use on one side if you remember correctly this place is where my pipes connect to fit the line that was really useful until now but now we can change it let us remove this pipe and I hate this but it's okay and this pipe so we have space let's put our back our jetpack and this larger pipe now let us break this let's break those two I have to connect this back again but I should remember now let us change this for this place here let us take off the shutters and place on the opposite side it was before and let us only input allowed so the items cannot go back now I just need some covers because they're gonna connect if I don't put something to avoid connection. Just quickly, just grab some nickel. I have a lot of nickel. So much nickel. Let us cover this pipe here. And now let us drag this pipe into the terminal. Now what have I just done? Let us get more cable to connect power again even though the machine have enough power to run for a good time but my memory is not what is that to be so I need this now or we will forget so let's connect power it was your your you you and you now what uh, ha what is happening here the termin the terminal is here it's emulating a chest there if there is filters outside of it taking items and the process item goes to the pipe that goes end in the terminal 
So what will happen if I toss another mineral on there? Let's pick pick team because we have a lot. He goes the mineral. He is process. He go die the pipe into the terminal and and here in the chest where is first. So it's a it's a closed cycle. But we don't want this here. We want that to be processed. So if I added another test terminal to this filter with another conveyor belt, what will happen? Ha what do you think will happen? It will draw the crochet purified. But just doing that isn't enough. We uh, we we want also to make the same thing and make the item return to the terminal. So if you remember correctly, on this design, this corner takes the items all the way down. So here we are, and that is the. There is the filter. It's kind of far. But we can just remove those. And let us take the filter with us. If you have a problem. We have the fight filter now. Oh uh, my, sorry about that, but that's what happens. This is the pipe that starts the line. So let's place it like that. And say to crochet purify it. It connect power. Loops. Loops are not good. Yeah, more loops. No more loops. Now the terminal, the filter is right here, tossing the pipe to the system. Now let us place the conveyor mode as before and set it to import. Now let's climb up. Let's remove those pipes. They are getting in the way now. They are useful one time, they are not anymore. So the large one go up there, then this one, and now here, here, and I place it one extra. Oh gosh. You come here. Now let us place the terminal. Connect the pipe. And soon as I put the right frequency, it should take the power fight from that chest. 3, 2, 1, go. And not shut back. And here we are. The crochet purify is being processed. And now if you go there, you can guess what happened. The purified crochet thing is here. Do you understand now? We can use the terminal for both Retrieving the want you want you the item you want to use in the filters and you can send back to the line. So if you go here and do the same thing we did just ago
this is the, f the filter with the dust pure and this one is where it come out there is really no easy way around this time so let us remove all the pipes oh great oh well it's just one we don't need these pipes anymore but we need this one yet so let's see if I break this I can take the filter I can wish the filter but they just show you how this was not planet I just told you these pipes are useless now, so let us remove those and make space. Here's the filter. You can connect to the side. I don't think so. This one kind of complex, 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 complex. Because this need to be here to the right side. Let us place the conveyor and the thing above it. Screw to import. Let us set up the filter correctly. terminal above it and that's gonna end most of it but now we need to place the pipe back here and here and coming all the way down connect this power back This the this later then it goes here. Let me go and here. Now connect the power. And I forgot to place the frequency DDI. Yes, I did. So let's take this, these two pipes. To connect it and should be processing our precious or no. Let's quickly, let's quickly, let's quickly. Yes, it is centrifuging our precious or. And when it ends, where they gonna land? Out here. On this beautiful place. Finish. And... It should be here, but it's not. I made some mistake there. And it was not about the Tesseract or it won't connect it. It's something else and I'm already already out of power. Oh. 
Good thing it's charged faster here. Why did they go wrong? But of course, isn't. You fool. Face the auto way, please. Now it's connected right it. As you see, I connect the pipe to the filter, not to the tesseract. Nope. Down bass. Now it's here, the tin dust and the time pile of zinc. So oh, they show you how how this works, don't you? Now you can go with can do this with the all your processing. You can make a single tesseract feed the machine and receive the heating back to the line. Because these all work on the line. However, in those last stage here I have a little problem. This is all four different machines. So to automate this with tesseracts, I will need more than just one, because the furnace can take only one type. The thermometer, the centrifuge, some for other things, it's be a pain in the ass, but you can do this. And if you remember correctly, just down here I have not only one, but two filters. So I need to move them, replace them, and everything. But this will give you a good, a good show what you can do with the tesseracts. But now come to a bad side. The tesseract generator consumes energy continuously, not only when sending or receiving items. Aside the, the two tip that says it consumes medium voltage, it do not consume it. It consumes half of it, 64 EU. The reason for this is because each terminal consumes extra 8 EU. So, with more terminals you have, the more energy it expand, and each generator can only have a maximum of 8 functional terminals. Anything more will not work, or even accept. I don't know. Well, do you remember that we have our time now there? And this is a problem. As you remember, this is the place where the time piles are extracted from the system and then crafted in a whole dust. And we can use the Tesseract for this, of course. We just need to make a little tweak. Let's remove this cover, this cover, let's put the conveyor, conveyor, import, import. And it's almost ready, because as you can see, if I put the tesseract terminal here, the filters on the side, you're gonna take the item they need and place on the aircraft table that you checked back into the tesseract terminal. So it's a full cycle. When I connect this, the tiny, the small piles la spirals in the chest should disappear and go. They are gonna end in that big that, 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 that to that place. As you see, nothing of tiny. Only those because I did not set up the smelter yet. But this is a show what can be done. Now let's run some ore, shall we? Let's say 10 ores. You place the ore here and the process begins.
There it goes. As you can see here, the industrial garden is working. The item do not even appear here. They are not the one that the you macerators are working to. The crusher don't even appear here. And the last step will be the centrifuge. And the items will all end here. The item do not even seem to end in this chest. They are pulled by the filter before it. This comes from the small piles that the process set, and everything is running a mirror. Oh yeah, I forgot to set up the the new filters to only output two. It's just a little tweak we can need to make later, so all four machines will work. Now the only thing left is the smelter, but as I told you, I just need to make it more... To make it more accessible, because it's for different machines. But the concept is the same. Now, I was talking about the limitation of the Tesseract terminals. Because... I just told you that they can only support up to 8 terminals and then the system is full. But this is bad, isn't it? What if you wanted to have more into a single line? One must say that probably the easiest question would be to take a Tesseract generator Like this one. And simply connect it to a, another terminal. Give it another frequency, like 3. And then it's be over. I we are so used to to Greg Tech and all the that other stuff that you say. This will never work, but it actually works. Yes, it works. You don't believe me? Very well then, I shall prove to you. Let's get down here on this. On this filters of this melterie. As you remember, this melterie is not placed on the frequency two. Let's see this one. Yes, it's from iron and stuff. So if I put a conveyor mode here, set it to import just like the others. And then place a Tesseract terminal here. But instead of placing two, I place three. That's different. Maybe did something wrong on the gen oh oh it's more easy than we talk. It's connected but it's not in the not the reason is quite simple. 
The generator don't have any power. Do it? No, it do not have. So let us let's go here. Let's go see all the dusties. They are all here because there is not where to go. But if we connect power on this. The dust have gone and the ingots is here because the is melted because my furnace on the frequency tree requested to frequency to the dust that was melted and place it back on the frequency tree that has connected to frequency two and back to the chest. So if you want to expand your your network of tesseracts, you can use just one generator and one terminal. So you can have almost as many as many expansions of one single network as you want. Isn't that beauty? It's simple and it works. Well done, Tesserax, well done. Oh yeah, I need to correct the filters. So let's correct this quickly. You come here and... Oh, you was right. Sorry about that. It's you who are wrong. No? What the heck will happen? Oh well. You can see the energy flickering because that is on this. The, the, the generator is consuming energy whatever it's working or not. So let's place all the this copper and place in the chest. Boom. There it goes. Wait a minute, why the copy isn't getting processed? What's wrong? Oh, there you go. That was bizarre. It took so long. Nothing getting any copy here. Oh, there it goes. I will not keep you watching all this, but now you understand. However, I did not test it yet, but I am almost sure that you can also attach one terminal to a pipe feeding with liquids. You can feed the machines with it too. While if you make the filters work with steam and have one one terminal with this thing injected, maybe and you instead of using a, a conveyor 
it was another one that I don't remember the name. Sorry about that. I don't remember the name of our upgrades. What is eating transport valve? Because it moves items and liquids. So it can get the items and the liquid the 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 Sarlac is sending. Well then, this is almost the last last thing I want to show you. There is one more, but it will take a long time. And while we are waiting for our you, you matter to stock and get more of this delicious iridium to make it, I don't know something more quantum. It's time to decorate this place. And yes, the Tesseract broke my my line that I worked so hard. But then I can make it thing like it. remove these pipes here and just place a terminal between those two filters and they each one gonna fit the the system if I place the item on the chest. So we can make a multi-purpose chest, like this one. All the materials you put here, you be pushed, be sucked. I don't know, get pulled by the machines you put it. So the thing is that if I fix it, it's good. For things that are not fixed, the old pipe transition is good, or you just make the a separated the Tesseract frequency just for them, but that's up to you. Now, back to the work and let's decorate this place. And also, see if I get any motivation to finish outside before going to the last part. And just to show you, this is how it's gonna be made then. We have this terminal here that will feed the, the two advanced regulators and the machines for it, of course. And this one will feed either the demo centrifuge with the advanced regulator below it, and this one you have two filters to feed the furnace. Now we have just made the, sec the last part that is making the upper part back again. So let's take this and replace it. You go here, beauty. You go here, Another beauty, and the last one. This you need to, a little detail so you can arrive at the pipe. It's not connected because I don't have set up the frequency yet. Now let's go to the other part. So it's you and you. You go here. And you go here. Everything is fine almost. Just need to block this so it can connect to the pipe below it. Even though if it connected, it would not be a, such a problem. And let's leave this here. This will probably connect to the pipe later and then start to. Well, this one we can already connect. So 
So this one is connected. In this one's for the display. As before. Just an iron frame. We place it like this. I should not activate this one here because I have not set the filters and as so it will draw it will grab any item that is on the chest. Don't forget this when setting your Tesseract. Put the filter put the filter before everything else uh, before the conveyor and everything. We're gonna get po eating spoiled that you don't want to. With the filter set, we are good to go now. I'm ready to eat three. Yes, I did. <laughs> Just two, okay. Now what would be left to do is do the same thing with all those machines. But serious, I don't need to do this anymore. What I am waiting now waiting for now is just the you matter to increase and the illusion comes to me so I can make more things. More advanced things. My crowbar broke and more. Let's complete the system. this again oh this is bad I have talk about that <laughs> oh, really? On the last one, I had to. Okay, you see it. Welcome back, and as you see, I have replaced everything in the place and make it the pipe here not set in the terminal again and back to the line. So it is working just as it did before. And as you can see by the weather floor, everything here has been fixed. Sad. So sad. Here nothing changed because as I said I will not do it. I decide to not go out there and make anything else. And ta -da! I ha I have a floor now. It's not the prettiest one, but it do its job. Reinforced stone. I have a bricks. And as you can see by the particles, those are not real bricks. They are our construction form, obscurated. And it's raining. <laughs> now for my next step, as you saw earlier, I still making a region because we need them. We need to make this little thing, and it's four for each one, but it requires 
a certain material. Yeah, I can do. S I forget it. It's simple. <laughs> I'll do some coal, but I for I will pass on that. But down here, -da! that's one big change, isn't? We have our floor with quartz. She's a quartz piler from above. The pilers on the walls. We have a reinforced stone wall with the emeralds that, he, as you can see, are not emeralds because I am not as crazy to make with the blocks itself. Everything is done. Hole is everywhere. Hole is everywhere. Hole is everywhere. Because for some reason I break I break cables and forgot to replace them. Here's our central storing power and our items with this beautiful glass from Exotilities. And here we have our pl power plant with the three LTG three full air radioscope radio isotope thermolytic gen and our reactors running they are flickering because the mass fabricator have not any more booster now it has one so it's working I had a lot uh, of scrap box, but they are not. They are being already like, expanded. As you see, I made a lot, lot of things that's using iridium ingots, so they need to come from a place. Now, all I will do is just keep this camera running to produce the iridium I need to make something with this reinforced. Iridium plate. And no, it's not crack tech. This could be useful, but no. We're gonna make a quantum body armor. Because before, on the previous version of Minecraft on 1.5, the quantum body would be the last part you make because it spends most iridium than other parts. And before only give you protection, nothing else much. But now, since it was electric pack as part of it, it means that it has the jetpack on itself. So with the quantum boot switch armor, we can place this outside and I have a full board quad. And it's quite strong. So Everything else goes to the last episode of Awakening Nightmare, hosted by me, of course. Thank you for all you who have come this far, and see you in the last.